What up, Stackers? Big Stack McGee here. How are you doing? Happy Saturday morning. It's bright and sunny where I am, and uh, just a start to a beautiful weekend. I was able to make it out to my uh, local coin store that I like to frequent and uh, peruse uh, everything that uh, he had there, and uh, ended up just with some boring old silver, boring old generic silver. So I ended up picking up a tube of uh, Golden State Mint Buffaloes. Nothing special about buffaloes. Um, it's 20 ounces of silver, though. And uh, I always love that conversion of cash to, to gold and silver. You know, like transaction, walk out the door, you have it with you. There's something real special about that. Um, you know, I'm starting to get to know the, the gentleman that runs the place pretty well. Um, you know, it's funny. I, there were some other things that I was looking at, some other, you know, bars and even some of their uh, older collectibles and things like that. But uh, generic silver is just a mainstay for me. Um, I really like the fact that when it comes to, if you ever want to sell, there's nothing more liquid in my mind than generic silver like this. You know exactly what you're going to get, you know. For most places, if you're in need to sell right now, you're going to get probably a little bit uh, maybe at spot or a little bit under. Um, but you know that, you know, there's no like surprise of going, well, like for instance, um, I saw this great video by Cull Silver recently where he's talking about selling some of his, his gold. And, um, one of the things that he learned was when he has bought, um, pre-1933 gold from online bullion places or wherever, he was spending a little bit more to get them in AU quality. But when it comes time to selling it, um, when it's ungraded, they're coming back and saying, we're going to give you the price for if, as if it was cleaned. And I think that's just real instructive to have some real-world information as to going, oh, okay, that's what happens, you know, when you're, when you're uh, doing this. So it's like, you know, buying them, you want, the, you want as nice as you can possibly get. We, we tend to see, you know, when they sell stuff like clean coins, we're like, well, I'm going to stay away from that. But, boy, there's something that you know what you have when you have that, and you're going to get that price uh, for it when you want to sell. So it's just things, little bits of information like that are really valuable. So I really appreciate that last video by Cull Silver. But uh, that for that reason, I like generic silver. Um, I don't get attached to, to generic silver. It definitely has a, a foundational part of my stack, and uh, I like to get it. Um, less and less have I been, you know, be letting my collector... Uh, jeans out in terms of uh, the way that I stack, except for the rare uh, vintage coins that are graded. And I've been dabbling with that a little bit more, as you've probably seen. But um, I just completed a real cool project where um, I have started an asset sheet for myself that has everything from my entire uh, precious metal stack separated by the different kinds, like my gold, my generic silver, my 90% silver, my silver bars, my foreign uh, government bullion, American Silver Eagles, on and on and on, right? And I have it all, so if, all, if I enter the spot price of silver and gold on the front page, it immediately tabulates the melt value of my entire stack, which is fantastic. And then in addition to that, I have that transfers to another sheet where I have all of my other assets, where I have in my checkbook, my savings, my Roth IRA, my... Um, my other various investing accounts, my retirement accounts, um, the value of my house, the value of my vehicles, things like that. And it just has a, it gives me a really good picture of where all of my money and uh, assets are at. And um, seeing that is really, really interesting because I've generically known where my money is, but I've never known like where those uh, all those percentage of my assets are are in. So I think what I'm going to do in a future video, I'm not too keen on just saying I have this much, but I would be happy to share my allocations with you guys so you can kind of see where it's at, how, where does precious metals uh, sit in terms of the percentage of my assets. Um, and, uh, you know, it's it's going to be kind of revealing, I think, to, to actually see that, those percentages for myself when I actually work it up. Maybe I'll even come up with a, a fancy uh, pie graph or something like that. Um, but I'll do that and just throw it out there. I'm sure that everyone's going to have an opinion on things, and, uh, <laughs> and that's I welcome that. So that'll be coming up uh, soon, probably within the next week or two. But um, as far as uh, this generic silver, one of the things I always wondered, um, I don't know if there are any other of you out there are poker players, uh, how cool would it be to have a poker chip set of generic silver? Wouldn't that be great? Different denominations, you could say 
buffaloes are all worth a dollar and <laughs> sunshine mints are five dollars or something like that and you could you could play that way that'd be kind of fun but um they get pretty beat up pretty fast but it would be kind of neat all right well that's all i have for you today just a, a fun little uh trip to the coin store for some really boring uh generic silver so there you have it there you go tangible assets love it all right guys big sack mcgee <laughs> have a good one see you later